Hey everybody, welcome back to Gem Mint Collectibles. I'm your boy Gem Mint. We're here with the Sideshow Collectibles Carnage Premium Format Statue Review. Just did the unboxing. Um, pleasantly surprised that there were not any QC issues. At least none of the ones that I've seen uh, posted on the groups. But here you go, man. This is the exclusive version, which comes with a switch out hand, which is the Axe Portrait. Um... I really like the switch out hand because in the comics, I grew up in the 90s. Maximum Carnage was my first introduction to Carnage. And he always did that. He always formed his hands into weapons. Now, Salt and Pepper is working on a custom Carnage, which are doing it to the extreme with like some, what do you call the thing that death has, scythes or whatever? So some pretty cool stuff coming from them. <clears throat> but talking about this Carnage, let's start with the base. Uh, the base has a lot of good detail, man. You have a lot of these iron rods within the uh, rubble. You have rust effect on the steel beams. The bottom of the base uh, is uh, this, you know, very similar to the bottom of the Spider-Man PFs, the Green Goblin, and the Venom. I like uh, uniformity, so I like how that all matches. Uh, the paint. So I was a little worried about the paint, um, that it was coming out orangey. And I guess it is a little bit of a mixture of red, and I don't know if I want to say orange. I mean, in the camera I'm looking, it looks like it's red because the light's on it. I'm looking behind it. But it looks like <clears throat> a little bit of a washed out red in places. I don't know if I would say orange, but yeah, maybe a little bit on the back of the legs. But you know what? I think it looks realistic. I guess you can't really have this bright red piece, although it looks bright red here. But otherwise, very good details on the red part. It looks like muscle tissue. And then you have the shiny black symbiote um, covering it, which is really good because it's different texture. It looks kind of like what they did with the XM Venom, but it's, it's, uh, it looks better on here. The feet are flush on the base, no problems. The symbiote covering the feet and the nails, like I can see sharp toenails, so I like that look. Some really good details on the symbiote that's coming off of him and on the pieces on the back that are added. So the old school comic cat has symbiote strands, but they look kind of funky. Um, this one looks much more natural. Um, his torso looks scrawny and lengthy like uh, Carnage should look in the comics. I think it was a really good touch to hide the hand seams with the symbiotes. <clears throat> I think that was some really smart engineering there. They did it with the head too. The, the, the face portrait looks really good and menacing. It really looks just like the life-size bust. Um, taking off the hand. The magnets are sturdy enough. Uh, not as wobbly as some that I've seen. This one uh, has the symbiote that actually wraps around it a lot more. Yeah, I guess it's a little loose, but... Oh, there we go. All right. I mean, it's not going anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. I know I've been coughing in a lot of these videos. I'm on antibiotics. Should be better soon. I'm on this good cough syrup right now. So anyway, yeah, that axe. I like the axe. They probably could have gotten away with giving us a few different weapon uh, switch outs, actually. But for whatever reason, they just, you know, they decided to do one. Unlike the Venom, this was a day one for me. Um, I always knew that I liked this piece. And I guess it came out as good as expected. I don't have any problems with it. I like it a lot. Um, now you got the age old question, though what's better? The premium format, new statue, or the old school comic head. So let's face these bad boys forward. I never did a review on the comic cat. To me, I never really liked the comic cat. I always only went for it because it was a companion piece to the Sideshow side Venom comic cat which I loved. It has the same base, but flipped the other way with a slightly different cover. Um, 
the paint is very similar. The, the, the design of, like, the textures are similar. So the red has, like, a muscular, uh, muscle tissue type of vibe. It's got the black, uh, shiny symbiote going through it. So that's kind of the same. What I didn't like about the Comet Cat is the pose and the build. First of all, he's way too jacked up for Carnage. This is Carnage. Scrawny, serial killer, Cletus Cassidy. He's not a weightlifting, muscle-bound guy like uh, Venom. Um, this hand is sick. You don't really get to see it because it's um, hidden behind him. But actually, I never really took my time to notice how long his nails are and how big his hand is there. This weapon is pretty cool, too, which is almost like a scythe kind of weapon. But what is this pose? The pose, to me, made his neck look all jacked up. His chin is on his shoulder. The portrait <clears throat> doesn't really save Carnage to me as much as this one does. Like, the mouth and the jaw just looks so fat. And then last, the tendrils. So, the tendrils are not really... I don't want to say comic accurate because I, I'm I'm sure comics have portrayed it like this too, but I guess like I guess I, I like how they did this one better. It looks more flowing and more looks more alive. It looks more like a symbiote. These are kind of weird in the sense that they just how do I explain it? Man, they're they're like the same thickness all around. I don't know. They look a little bit odd and they don't really stay in place that well, and they're hard as hell to figure out where they go. So for me, I think the new PF is much, uh, much, much better piece. It's definitely more comic accurate. This pose, he's leaning back, his legs are forward, he's crouched down. I mean, I'm just don't, I just don't understand it. Um, so I'm definitely feeling the new piece. I don't think I'm going to put him in the besto with Venom because Lord knows that Venom's got a lot of weight on there already. I might put him up top. Next to Spider-Man, in, in the middle of Spider-Man and Green Goblin. Until the XM carnage comes in. Then we'll uh, have to keep the XMs together and the sideshows together. <clears throat> anyway, sideshow. Still the best bang for your buck. They have QC issues. But you know what? They're a huge company. If you have a QC issue, send that shit back, man. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. Um, Comic Cat. You know, I'm a completionist. I had to have it. Uh, but I like the PF better. So I guess that's all for the review, man. Uh, hit me up with any questions, comments, or concerns, your thoughts. Hit that subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell so you get updates because I'm having a lot of pieces come in. Today we just had back, you know, this week we had back-to-back -back statues. Getting two pieces in on Thursday, um, which are some PCS Mortal Kombat pieces that nobody really cares about but me. Anyway, um, <clears throat> getting a life-size... Sub-Zero MK9 bus that's been shipped and um, just paid the shipping for the custom salt and pepper Maniac Venom quarter scale statue. So they should be shipping that soon and hopefully they hit me with that three day shipping from China. And that should be a dope review right there. Um, also, man, subscribe to the channel. You might not be an Omnibus fan like you see in the background, but you might watch some of my videos and decide to get into them. I do uh, videos on my recent reads. Like, I just read The Button, uh, the DC Rebirth story, so I'll probably do a recent reads video on that later today. Make sure to like <clears throat> Gem Mint Collectibles on Facebook so you can get updates uh, as to when the live show is going to be, so you can tune in for that and join the chat. I will be on Lords of the Long, Bo Lords of the Long Box tomorrow, Wednesday night, 5.30 Pacific, which is 8.30 Eastern. I'm in Mountain, so it's 6.30. And if you're Central, I guess it's 7.30. I guess that's how it works. Anyway, thanks for checking me out. Your boy, Jem Mint. Stay minty. Minty fresh always. Peace.